when you repeat what somebody has said that makes them feel like, oh, they were actually listening. That's exactly what I said, so they get me. Hi loves, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am really grateful to have you on this energetic space today because today we're all gonna talk about how to build a heart-centered connection as requested again by somebody from our soul family. So I appreciate you for requesting this topic. Um, building heart-centered connections and soul-centered connections is something that's very important to me and something we really need in this day and age where we're also very stuck to technology. Well, not stuck, but we got a lot of technology around us where there's that great opportunity to connect, but it actually makes us feel more disconnected. At least that's been my experience for most of my life. I've had so many people on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and I have still felt lonely, even though all those beautiful people were following me and I was interacting with them. So it's definitely, um, it's definitely something to be mindful of, of how we live in today's world with technology. And so in today's video, I'm going to share, <laughs> I'm going to share a few ways to build and foster these heart-centered connections because this is something that's very important to me. And I know my soul family here is um, very intentional with that. So yeah, thanks for being here to learn. So let's get right into it. I journal a little bit, um, but basically I had three three main points to share with you so that you can start really fostering heart-centered connections is, first of all, you gotta open your own heart up so that you can connect on a heart level. Um, I was a really close-hearted person growing up, like believe it or not, like this open-hearted person you see today or you see on the screen, this was not me for most of my life because I was so shut out, like I did not wanna let anyone into my life because I grew up in an environment that just constantly shamed me and constantly put me down whenever I spoke my truth or whenever I wanted something or wanted needed or like I needed something or I needed emotional support. And so with those experiences that caused me to shut myself down, to really allow myself to go within, not in a way that was very healthy, um, but really allowing myself to practice letting go of those layers of um you know my wall being up around my heart um there's something that i love to facilitate with energy healing and that's the heart wall um and essentially the heart wall is an energetic wall that we built from being hurt because we want to protect ourselves like we don't want to get hurt again so what do we do we build up a wall and we shut that out However, when you shut out people and, and other hearts that want to connect with you, you're not allowing yourself to do the two-way dance of giving and receiving and connecting. That's how you connect. You, it's, a, it's a dance. Like You have to connect through giving and receiving and having that really balanced um, experience with um, somebody else and really allowing yourself to face those moments when you become aware of your heart being closed. That's like the first step to being able to open up your heart. Um, and some signs of noticing that you're closing your heart is that you're judging. Um, you're someone who is not listening to the other person, which actually goes into my <laughs> next um, point of how to open up your heart. Um, but really allowing yourself to listen to the other person is another way to connect on a heart-centered level. And when we allow ourselves to listen more than speak, we also allow ourselves to practice receiving. Because when somebody speaks, they're giving that energy to you. And when you're listening, you're practicing yourself receiving. And something I used to do growing up also is that I would give unsolicited advice when people weren't like looking for it. And so really practicing listening is a way to help somebody feel understood, to feel seen, to feel heard. And that's something that I did not experience growing up. 
and for the most part, at least. And then when I finally met people and met people in my cell family who understood me and saw me and heard me for who I was, that's how I was able to foster and build more heart-centered, soul-centered, deeper, authentic connections. And so when I practice listening, like actively, empathetically listening, you allow yourself to get to their heart space and to really feel and hear what's on their heart. And when we also practice repeating what they said instead of just wanting to respond and and thinking of ways to respond back, that's a way that you can also connect deeper because when you repeat what somebody has said, that makes them feel like, oh, they were actually listening. That's exactly what I said. So they get me. So the last tip, <laughs> which is something that I continuously have to practice every single day with the people that I love and the people who I have the intention to build heart-centered connections with is practice patience and acceptance. And this one has been a really big theme for me lately, especially with the people who have really been challenging me to go within and to really, or who have really challenged me in accepting them for who they are, where they are on their path, recognizing that I can't fix anyone, I can't change anyone. That's really when you practice unconditional love, which comes from the heart space. And that's a whole other video that I will talk about another day. However, when you wanna build um, these deep connections, it's just recognizing that also having patience for yourself and accepting yourself for who you are that's also essentially practicing self-love. And to the root of it, to be able to have a heart-centered connection with somebody else, you gotta love yourself. <laughs> it all comes back down to loving yourself. So overall, these are the three tips that I channeled today and wanted to share with you on how to start building that heart-centered connection with somebody else if you have that intention to build heart-centered connections with somebody else. One, Allow yourself to open up your own heart. <laughs> Two, allow yourself to listen more than speak. And three, practice patience and acceptance. I hope this helped. I appreciate you listening for today's message. And if there's anything else you wanna learn more of, let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate you. Thank you for your energy and your time today. I am so grateful every single time that you click play. And until next time, family, talk soon. Bye. If you are watching this, you are part of my cell fam. Well, I should say that if you're watching this and you're resonating with me, then you are part of my soul fam. However, I have experienced that just because you don't resonate with someone right away, they could be your soul fam too.